Where's my camera? I'm sick, right? Number. Welcome to what is possibly our last video of the yeah. year. <laughs> All right, possibly. Because <laughs> she, she might have some other interesting things on our page, but in terms of a video we're going to shoot together, this is definitely the last, the last one, one for, for the year, year 2022. Mm. So I uh, want to start by wishing you first a Merry Christmas and a Happy mm, New yeah. Year. Um, from Loving and Married Ministries and Just As Girls Global Network. Global. They're global. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, David's Christian Center. Yes. So to, to all our folks, all our followers, all our friends, all our fans, all our family members, um, we love you. Um, thank you for the support all through this year. Yeah. This year has been amazing. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's been a year though. In a year, yeah, it's been you a know. year. Twenty twenty two twenty two. Yeah, I'm that's telling you, I can say. Dude, man, I'm telling you, man. I think I will always remember it as the year I lost my dad. So Aww. that might Aww. I mean, but other than that, it was a good year. Yeah. Even that is the good thing. Is uh, <sighs> he lived well. Yeah, but and he gave us this fine girl that has blessed the world everywhere. So hey, yeah. it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see him. Not soon, but we'll see him. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not anytime soon, soon sir. Here, please. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but it was, it was a loaded year. Lots yeah. of travels, lots oh, of conferences, yes. lots of counseling, yes. lots of books, not lots of books, but yeah. a lot of work, really. work, mm. work. Yeah, and 2023 is going to be <sighs> even more hectic. The thought of the year. <laughs> <laughs> and the things planned and scheduled in the year already is looking. Yeah. And we're going to be on a lot of planes. We're going to do a lot of traveling. Yes. So, um, so we might be coming to you. Yes, most Who likely. Yes. Yeah. So wherever you're watching. Yeah. So 2023 might be the year we get to hug you. Yes. See and you we like. Get to sign your book, book. You know, just. Yeah. Take a picture. Yes. Yeah. So. Because we have so many countries lined up: Australia, South Africa, Kenya, Kenya, um, the, the United UK, States, the United Canada. Kingdom, Canada. So. Most yeah. likely, Ghana. we're gonna see you, Ghana. 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 Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? We may just have some other places that we haven't yeah. planned. Mm -hmm. you know. Definitely, those things always come. Ireland seems to be calling me as well, but yeah. let's see how it goes. Yeah, there are just not enough year days in the year. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your support all through the year. Thank you for the love. Thank you for being there, for watching our videos. Um, all our subscribers, our followers, we, 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 we really appreciate you. it. Yeah, yes. it goes along with the encouragement. So if you have not yet subscribed to our channels uh, and you're not sharing another, please subscribe. It's good. It just it helps us have a sense of um, this is be, this is blessing someone out there. It's, yes, and that's very encouraging. Yeah, yeah. so subscribe on um, all our channels. Kings Lukonkwa, Mildred, Kings Lukonkwa. LDM with PKs, like ministry page. Just as Girls Global. Just as Girls Global. Just as ministry. So subscribe and to all of them. David's Christian Center. Center page. <laughs> yes, subscribe. Yes. So today, why are we here? Mm. Mm. Um, we've been thinking about what we can share with you that will be a blessing to you um, this season. Yeah. And then we just, the other day, we were just having a conversation about some of the agreements that we had mm, yes. before getting married. And the truth is that those things have formed the foundation for how our marriage mm -hmm. has turned out. Um, a lot of things that you do, you have to be intentional about it. We were intentional from the very beginning yeah. about how we wanted our marriage to be. Um, and so we had some decisions that we made from the very get-go. So today we're going to try to share just about seven of them. Yes. Just seven of the agreements that we yeah. had. Yeah. So. Well, you're going you're gonna to start it. And um, these agreements, um, they're in no way exhaustive. So yeah. if I had end, we'd like you to share in the some comments of some of the things you feel. Um, if you're married, things you, you, sh you had as agreements between your spouse and you. And um, if you're not married, things you think you would like to, you know, agree with your spouse mm -hmm. about. What we mean by agreement is that things both of you said, okay, this would be like a law or a rule. In our home. In our home, you know. And um, it has really helped us. These things we're sharing really helped us. So, let's go. Okay. 
interestingly, before I go to number one, interestingly, I think that they are not things that we agreed just at the beginning. It's just been over a course of the marriage, you know, mm -hmm. things come up, like how you have policies in your company, something happens and then you make a policy. Yeah. So something happens and then we decide, you know, this would be a good thing to agree on. This would be a good rule for us to have in our family and in our home. Yeah. And that, that has really yeah, helped they've us. they've really been helpful. Yes. Yeah. So number one, mm -hmm. there's a story behind it, but let me just go straight to it first. <laughs> <laughs> number one rule that we had in this marriage was, don't sulk, talk. Mm-hmm. Do you want to tell the story? Or should I tell the no, story? You, you, you remember <laughs> the story better. But the, the idea is generally that, um, you know, many couples, um, you know, expect their partner to just know what is happening. So mm -hmm. we came up with that policy that, hey, it's important that you share how you feel, you know, and so that the other person will know exactly where you're coming from. So PM will give you the gist. So yeah. Okay, so first couple of months, I've said this many times, yeah. but I'll go again. I mean, first couple of months into our marriage, um, we had one of our first moments where he upset me. To me. show you how me. insignificant. I can't <laughs> when did I upset you? Yeah, you got upset. Okay. Not that I upset you. You upset me. Don't upset anybody. Okay. I got upset because he upset me. So <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> so anyhow um, we, I, I was upset. So I was mm. just, I didn't know how to go about expressing it. So I did what I used to do in my father's house. Which is the sulk, you know. Which, what we which call, a lot of women do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, where you just start to give attitude, mm. or what we like to call in our own house, carry face. You start mm. to carry your face, you know, yeah. give attitude, what's wrong with you, nothing. Mm. What's wrong with you, nothing. <laughs> and so I was going around the house doing the, what's wrong with you, nothing. What's wrong with you, nothing. He asked me the first time, asked me the second time. I didn't say anything, he said nothing. And so he moved on with his life. And of course, I was still giving him food, still doing everything, but the conversation the just was wasn't. Moving flowing <laughs> as it should. This is the last video of the year. Can you try to be serious? It was not moving as it normally should, mm. you know, but I was just going about my normal business. I would give him what to eat. I would clean up the house, just doing everything as a new wife. We just got mm. married. It was just yeah. a couple of weeks, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed something that he was praying louder. Um, he would walk around the house singing worship songs off key, if I might add, uh -huh. but singing worship songs nonetheless. Um, he was praying in tongues for louder, mm -hmm. you know, periods of time. He would just sit down, study his Bible, and I was feeling, what kind of human being is this? How do you ups upset someone and then you just go about your normal business? Mm -hmm. In fact, you're acting more spiritual, more holier than thou. And I'm like, this is, this, is, this is just wrong. So after a few days of carrying my face, I went to him and said, you know, you're really wicked. And he was like, ah, wicked. New wife that I just married. A first kid can just be very, I don't know if the word is clueless, or just be yeah, face value. Like, this is, if this is yeah. what you said, then I believe you. Yeah. You know, so I said to him, I, you've just been, I've been very upset with you. And you've mm. been praying. How can you even pray? Even the Bible says that when somebody has something against you, you first leave your sacrifice at the altar, then you make peace with the person. But here you are, singing, praying in tongues, and you can see that I'm upset. And he was like, oh God, is that what that was? He actually thought that I was being spiritual, that I wanted time away. You know how Jesus take time away and just be by himself with Jesus? And that's what I was doing. So he was challenged. And so he was praying, was saying, ah, this girl will not win me spiritually in this house. She, she will see that she met a spiritual man of God. And then I realized, like I always say, was my defining moment. Mm. That's when I realized that men didn't day. <laughs> yes. Men did not day. They are not among. Men have no clue sometimes. Yeah. You know, you are fighting with someone who's not fighting, fighting with, with you. you man. You're upset with someone who has no clue mm. that he has upset you. Mm -hmm. And so my husband said to me, you know what? If something's wrong, don't soak. Just talk. Just tell me. Tell me, mm -hmm. I don't like this thing you did. Yeah. Or I don't like it. So we just agree from that day. So now we don't do all those things where <laughs> you have to figure it out. And besides, yeah. men don't read minds. They read yeah, newspapers. Yes. So they're not <laughs> going to. A man is always going to read their mind. Just tell him. Yeah. Don't do the nothing is wrong yeah. and suffer in yeah. silence, you know? Because women generally, um, women understand sign language. Mm. Unfortunately, for for, for you, like body language. Yes, yeah, body language. I, I, I sign language just more more <laughs> captures it better, <laughs> you know. But men, men, men are clueless. Men are literal beings. So you know something can seriously be wrong. You can be given the worst attitude possible. As long as the man asks, is asking you what's wrong, and you say, say nothing, nothing, he 
he takes it literally. But women understand body language or sign yeah. language. They understand when they understand that all greeting is not greeting. Mm -hmm. All right, that can say good morning and good morning or good morning. That they're all different for men. <laughs> Anyhow, you have said it. That's okay. those Even that's, if you those, nod, those three are this. extremely <laughs> different. <laughs> How about women good morning? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good, yeah, women, <laughs> women understand that it's different. So, uh, so the, the, what we came up with really helped us because by that, you know, I didn't have to always figure out when she's not happy. I could depend on her or expect her to just say so and say why she's unhappy. Now, we don't have to necessarily trash out the issue at the time. But yeah. You have to know that, okay, this thing's going on. And it mustn't be, you know, um, said with a... You with know, anger, with like anger, a battle, yeah, yeah. battlefield attitude. Yeah, because what, what happens again is that most times when people want to even talk about what is going on, mm -hmm. they, they say it wrongly. Women ask me all the time, that how, what do men mean by the like respect? Uh, I just tell them, it's your tone, your timing, and your attitude. attitude. That's it. So um, use the right tone and just explain to him. Or ha, sometimes, you know, it's, it's mm -hmm. the other way around. And just say, hey, baby, or hey, whatever. Honey. Honey, hey, yeah. Hey, sugar. Hey, sugar. Hey, sweetness. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, hey, lemonade or whatever it is, <laughs> you guys are drinking, you know. <laughs> you know, and say, uh, you know, this thing really hurt me. You know, so tone, mm -hmm. then timing, yeah. you know. Don't, don't just, uh, we just finished World Cup. Not that when they're playing World Cup, you know. Or just your um, team just lost. Uh, Portugal, uh, Ronaldo is playing final with, uh, no, I didn't say I won't make it to final. Oh, wow. Uh, um, England, they are playing World Cup final. And that's when you want to have that talk. No, the man is not going to be able to listen. All right, or Man City is about to win Champions League, playing Champions League final yes. against, uh, yes, you know, uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid or something, or PSG. And you want to have a serious conversation. So, tone, timing, then the attitude. Mm. All right, that's just the best way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, that's number one. Yeah. Number two, we agreed that we'd exchange parents. <laughs> mm, yeah. I think you should explain that one. No, because um, we, we found out, um, again, one of the things that, that has helped us a bit was that I was already a bit like a marriage. popular marriage coach and relationship expert, even before we got married. So I knew the things that generally cause drama amongst couples. And one of the major ones was in-laws. In-laws in is just a big drama. So I, I always had to cancel people that, oh, somebody was saying, oh, he's doing this for his own dad, doing that for my own, do, not doing that for my own mom. So we came up with something at the time. Now, most of, most of our agreements are based on the fact that we understood that marriage was a covenant from Scripture. Yes. So that's, that's important, very, very important. Yeah. And, and, you know, I can't emphasize that enough because every day I run into Christians that still, you know, talk as if they are totally, you know, oblivious of that fact yeah. that marriage is a covenant. It's two people becoming one. Mm -hmm. So we came up with that understanding based on the Scripture that, you know, from now on, um, your parents are my parents mm -hmm. and my parents are your parents. And yeah. that means... When it comes to caring for um, her parents, uh, I, I take the lead. Yes. When it comes to caring for my parents, she takes the lead. Mm -hmm. That way there's no issue of, you know, you did this for your folks or you did that mm -hmm. for your yeah. folks. And we, we both agreed to be generous towards our parents, yeah. you know, and all that. So, yeah. Yes, and we also agreed that whatever you do on one side, you must do on the on other. Side, yeah. So if whatever you're buying for this mom, we just buy for two moms. What we're doing for both as we do for both right, of yeah. them. Um, if we're, I mean, we also did not have the luxury of having you know both parents in the same, same state. state like my yeah. parents were in lagos with us but it didn't affect how we were treating them on each That's side right, yeah. and then we also found out that it would be easier if in terms of blessing your mom i was doing it it would make her more fond of me yes. she already loves her son yeah. now i was the one that needed the connection yeah so doing things for her yes. and you know a gift will always make room for you so yes. buying things doing things yes. so, you know so calling all, so gifts to my mom came, came from her yes. and gifts to her own folks came, came from, from me him. you know that has a way of opening your parents heart towards, towards your, your partner, partner which is very important yeah. but the, now the flip side to that particular um agreement was that Whenever there was an issue, yes. All right, I had to talk to my folks. Yeah. So I never, she never had to interface with my parents regarding something that negative. where there was a yes negative, yes. where there was a disagreement, and I never had to interface, interface with, with her parents yeah. when it was negative. So yeah. you know, because you have a way you can talk to your own folks. You have a yes. way you can tell, you can tell them to back off. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Don't but you can't do tell your mother-in-law to back off. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that, out, uh, yes. Yeah, that's for Africans. I know some. Mm. some yeah, people yeah, that yeah. I mean, you can do that anywhere else, but for us, especially in Africa, especially in Nigeria. You know, respect yeah. for elders yeah. is such a big, big thing. Big deal. And family, extended yes. family is very involved. Yes, in yes. a major part of your marriage. marriage. And if you are yeah. not careful, 
Uh, they will go and settle the matter in the village. Yes, unless it's drama. <laughs> you know? And listen, if you're a busy couple, you need you need your in-laws, or trust me, you need your yes. your, your parents, your grandparents, mm. because yeah, your children's taking care of kids, yes, you're taking care of, yeah, children's grandparents, taking care of kids, mm. Omugwa, all, all those, those things. things. Man, <laughs> you need it all. Huh. So we knew that uh, we couldn't even play with our yes, parents. Yes, because we... it, y- y- your mom was phenomenal. Aww. With, yeah, with all the kids, you know, she, she would just, you know, when she was coming, it was just a big deal, you yeah, know, she and she would bait all the kids, she would carry them a lot of times, that would give you time to sleep, and baiting the kids was like a drama, she would sing, and <laughs> all the, it, look, her mom, yes. when her mom comes to Omugo, it's a big deal, it's Epic. such a big deal. We actually know? all gather around and yes, watch her, because it's such a big yeah. deal, she would bait the kids, throw them up. Stop sing. <laughs> Oh. She, she had a song for each child yeah. and then she would dress them and she literally yeah. just take the yeah. children yeah. off of me. You, uh, By the time she's leaving after three months, yeah. you then realize that. Reality. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> I had a baby actually. Yeah. You know, so, so, so it's yeah. good to, to manage that. Yeah. But I also like the firmness of your mother. Hmm. Father, she told me that she would say, let the baby cry. It's yes, opening so. their lungs. Yes, so <laughs> you know, mom, they have the tendency yeah. to you know, spoil your children yeah. and she just has she's having none of that. So yeah. <laughs> and I just love she's that. Soldier, literally, that. she was in the army. Yes. And, <laughs> and the fact that she's very upfront about anything yeah. she doesn't like. Yes. You know, you yes. don't have to guess with my mother-in-law. She would tell yeah. you, you know, and there are no, no airs. She's not trying to be mean or anything. Yes. She don't tell you, this is what you do, no good. I'm telling you. <laughs> Actually, we don't I'm move on you. without even looking at your face to know whether you took it well or not. She has told you and that's <laughs> it, you know. So, yeah. yeah, we exchanged parents. Yeah, that was such an agreement. A blessing. And that really helped us. Such a blessing. It really did. Made our lives mm-hmm. easier, yeah. you know. So we had we have little or zero yeah, in-law, in-law dramas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wonderful that. in-laws. That was a good decision. Very good decision. But right now, just the two mothers that are left. Yeah. The two dads are gone. Mm. Yeah, the two mothers are left. So women live longer. Men, we have to do something about this. <laughs> I literally heard cricket sounds right yeah, now. Really, so even <laughs> women don't leave, allow us to go. And people stay back and enjoy life. No, that's not how it works. What happens is that the men are older. So uh, we, we go the way we came. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So all things being equal, the way it works is if we live to be the time God, let's say 120, yeah. it means that you will naturally go two years before me. Wow. wow. So you leave Ooh. us a lot of money to spend. No. I'm taking <laughs> my money. All my money with me. <laughs> I oh think I'll spend my money, but not the date. I just spend about like three million naira ice cream. <laughs> what flavor? All the flavors. Then hundred million naira suya. Why are you buying rubbish? You know, buy car. You know, buy. I don't finish my money. But buy car, you go use it when I go there. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Forgive him. No, no, no. Okay. Next thing. Next yes, thing. No, we have to go straight to the next thing that we we yeah. agreed on. So next thing that we agreed on, it's very. I will do it every day, no matter what. Even when we are not mm. excited about situations or something is upsetting yeah. somebody, mm. that we agree that nobody leaves the house without kissing the other person. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. So we agreed to that. In, interestingly, our children didn't make fun of us now. They bet with their friends. So the other day, <laughs> I was cooking in the kitchen, and then Pastor K came downstairs. He was going to play tennis. And so he walked into the kitchen, and then I heard... My daughter and her best friend were on the dining table. And then she said to her, I, I didn't know what they were talking about, but I was hearing whispers from the kitchen where I was. And she was say, just watch, just watch, just watch. Next thing I said, so Pasquet said, oh, I'm going. And I said, okay, bye, baby. And I kissed him. And she just said, you see, I told you. And told them, oh, I'm like, can you imagine these children betting on our head? Um, yeah. But the idea behind this is not just because we like to kiss each other, which, by the way, we do. Yeah. But it's the concept of making sure that we are the last the last time you see someone is always a pleasant experience. Like, he's walking out the door. Maybe the last time I ever see him, it will not be, but mm-hmm. it's the last memories you always create are pleasant yeah. ones. Yeah. And the assurance that, I'm, even though I'm leaving you, I am not forsaking you, in quotes. Yeah. Even though I'm leaving you, yeah. you still have my heart. So yeah. that's that was what formed the lodge behind. And then we find out that it also makes us closer yes. somehow. Yes, you there's know. a fondness there's to the, it. Yes, intimacy, non-sexual touch, yeah. all, those, all those things are major for us in our home. Yeah. So um, kissing each other before we leave. Definitely. Yeah. You know, it's just, um, it's a, they call it um, in psychology and in marriage therapy, a bead to connect. Mm. So, um, of course, w- separation is the opposite of connection. Mm-hmm. So... The more a couple um, seeks to connect, 
the less likely they would separate. Mm -hmm. So that's it's just, it's just basic. So um, what happens is that many couples do not respond to their partner's bid to connect. So whenever your partner maybe calls you or says, oh, come and see this thing or wants to kiss you, that's a bid to connect. And when you respond, the connection is tight. So there was a post I did uh, sometime this year about one of the things that breaks marriages is when your partner sends you a joke or something on, yeah. on social media or Instagram and you don't reply, you don't I, send the laughter. I felt attacked. You know, yeah, <laughs> she's champion of that. I'll send that joke, she won't answer. Because I'm right you know. beside you. I just laugh you out know. loud no, and I don't remember. Type, you have to return the okay, I don't remember to post. type it because I just no. laughed out loud. Yeah, I sent it by post. You have to reply, send your laughter in spite of the physical. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, sorry. So, you know, so people just thought it was a joke. However, that was a bit, so whenever your partner does things like that, it's a bit mm. to connect. They send you a joke, send you something, that's a bit to connect. But mm. some people, some partners in their response, maybe do not respond back. Mm -hmm. And they think that's okay. That's not okay. Psychologists found out that that's the number one thing that breaks a marriage. Mm. You know, I saw it after I said it. You know, you know um, I'm, I'm an expert, so most times. Oh. What the psychologists say, you know, they learn from me. You know. <laughs> so what psychologists found out that that is a singular thing that causes separation or causes a marriage to break down. When one partner is, you know, of, showing that bit to connect. I want to connect with you on this area and... Their partner is not responding, and I said, mm. you know, I, I knew that all along. So any any small res, um, you know step your partner takes towards connection, either a kiss when we're going out, um, showing you something, sending you a message, your reply matters because mm -hmm. that is that is a connection that has strengthens the marriage. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So number four, we agreed no passwords. Yes. Yes. Share. Okay. <laughs> Don't share. Yeah. Okay, so um, again, like I said, most of these things are based on our understanding of covenant. Uh, of covenant. You know, the Bible says the two became one, they become one. You know, therefore shall a man, um, Genesis chapter 2, therefore shall a man uh, leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and the two That's shall become one, one flesh. And they so, were naked. Yes, and they were naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. Mm. So we understood that, you know, there has to be 100% transparency. Yeah. I, I, I'm still amazed when I see couples that say, oh, what's my wife checking in my phone, you know, your husband's not checking. I'm wondering, you know, how did you, who, who taught you marriage? Where did you get the concept of marriage from? Because in the real concept of marriage, the two people are becoming one. So it's no more my phone, it's our phone. He said they were both naked and they were not ashamed. So you should constantly try to remain naked before your spouse. So we, we, we agreed from day one, uh, there will be no things like passwording phones or hiding phones. So, in fact, the way we catch up with Jesus is that we check on each other's phone. Yeah. All right, when we have the time, because it's not like we, you know. But it's not it's not out of a position of threat or mm. suspicion. It's more, hey, okay, oh, what was happening to this person? How far did you settle with this person? Things like that. So, we always had that yeah. from from beginning. And another thing that made it quite easy is having our social media on each other's phones. Oh yeah, yeah. So, for instance, I have his Instagram on my phone. He has mine. You know, at some point, our phones were even cloned at, yes, at some yes, point, so. you know. So if you were sending him a message, it was coming straight to my phone. Yeah. Um, and that kind of, it, like you said, it really helps us to catch up on gist. If you live busy lives, yes. that's the easiest way. Picking up the oh, phone, going man. to chat and saying, oh, what was this conversation yeah. with this person? What did this person want? Yeah. Oh, are you serious? You gave this person money. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yes. you know. So we have those conversations. We yes. catch up with gist, with each other's phones. Um, in fact, a lot of... You can Okay. In fact, a lot of his social media accounts, emails and everything, I open them so I'm the one who has the password. So that has helped us really. Yeah. You know, you feel safe. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we feel yeah. safe with each other. Amazing. Uh, although that makes it difficult to surprise your wife. When I'm planning surprises or anything, I have to be extra, extra smart and extra careful. But, but it's, it's worth it. Um, it creates that bond, that openness, transparency. So it's one of the agreements we had, yeah. So number five agreement. Um. Joint accounts. Yes. Say the way we normally say it. Uh, so we agreed to have joint, joint accounts account. and joint, joint accountability. accountability yeah. Yes. So for some people it's or, but for us we agreed to have joint accounts yeah. and mm -hmm. joint accountability. So that meant that we would have one account with our money yeah. in it. And in, in a case where it was impossible to have one account, whatever was going on in that person's account, the extra yeah. account, because I needed an extra salary account. Yeah, things um, like that. So I had to be accountable also as to how the money was being spent even they will not ask me i don't know yes so. I don't uh, know. she's a way one better day, financial manager one she's day you could girl. just wake up i so don't I'm clear happy. your account yeah sir. yeah so <laughs> <laughs> you say yeah yeah does no, that I trust, you know. I trust you i'm serious it's me you should be worried about hey god <laughs> you see, i can spend i can spend for okay. africa you know so uh you know again this that's another thing that surprises me about couples that when they say things like oh he didn't give me money i'm wondering so 
you guys are running you know what 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 many couples are actually doing that they're just even though they're married they're still living as true single people mm. so a lot of things about them are separated and listen when you separate money is one of the things see money is literally involved in almost all decisions that you make mm -hmm. so once money is separated you find that your minds will start being separated I was actually talking to a couple, um, I spoke to the husband earlier in the day, and he said he's traveling next week. And I spoke to the wife about, oh, I, I wanted to see you guys next week, but your husband is traveling. And she didn't know he was traveling next mm -hmm. week. You see, if those couple have a joint account, there's no way he can even yeah. buy tickets or buy without anything without them. Yeah. So it just gives accountability and it gives, you know, synergy. You know, so for me, I'm always tripped. I'm always genuinely surprised when I see couples that are actually not doing their finances together. It helps planning. That means, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's nothing I want to do that I won't share with you. It helps mm -hmm. communication. You know, helps agreement, it mm -hmm. helps in a lot of ways. So we've always had that from day one. We've always had a joint account. We've always planned our finances together. I always believed all our dreams we do together. So we've never had discussion of give me food money, give me that money. We don't have this kind of discussions. Except when I just want to bless her and I just write her a check or something. It's still for my money that she's aware, but I just dash her <laughs> to go and do anything she likes with it, things like that. You know, so we've always had that and um, it's been a blessing. The interesting thing about it is when you have a joint account, especially with your wife, and she's reasonable, she's yes. reasonable, I think that what happens is that you end up saving a lot more money. Oh, yeah. Because she knows what's there. No, but sometimes the women are the ones that are... Okay, I said about when the woman is the one spending it. Yes. Right? If the woman... Yeah, I'm going there. So if the woman is the one who's the spendthrift, for instance, mm -hmm. because a lot of men complain, my wife spends yeah. a lot of money, my wife spends a lot of money. I think that if she's aware of what you have, yes. most women dream big because they think their husband earns more. Yes. So yeah. the earlier you let her let mm -hmm. know what you have, also give her a faith, faith target. So let her know what you are aiming for. Women are incredible in terms of bringing dreams to pass. All right, you mm. plant a seed in a woman, not just mm. a, a physical seed that will bring a child, but your mm. dream seed. Mm -hmm. Plant in a woman, you'll be amazed how fast it's going to come out. So mm. start sharing dreams. Like, one day I want us to own our own house. Yeah. One day I want you to have this. I want you to have the kitchen, the kind of kitchen you mm. like. I want you to have the kind of room you like. I want you to have a gym in the house. Mm -hmm. Whatever she likes. All right, start planting the seeds of that dream. You'll be yeah. amazed how fast. You know, um, where we live now was like that. You know, yeah. we just we just shared and said, hey, we'd like to live in yeah. this place, and and we, we literally live here now. Yeah. You know, so um, um, it, it changed everything for us, yeah. and it, it helps prudence. So if, if one of you spends too much, you'll find that, and they don't want, usually spenders marry savers. Yeah, you know, uh -huh. so. Um, all the spenders worldwide, Merry Christmas. <laughs> save us, get your own from... Said, Merry Christmas to <laughs> you. Get your own from where you saved Merry it. Christmas. <laughs> I have, I've saved so many Merry Christmases, I can give you some. So Merry Christmas, yeah. guys. So it, it was a blessing to us because yeah. um, I just found out how incredible, uh, incredibly good my wife was at managing money. And like I said, when we teach them finances anywhere, I said, man... You know, no matter uh, what's going on in the world, this woman has money saved yeah. somewhere. I don't know why Nigeria is borrowing from China or other places. Wow. Which one borrowing from? <laughs> don't let <laughs> them come has from money you. Saved somewhere, I'm telling you. <laughs> right. But I, I think that it's important that we also emphasize here that you know it only works because we understand covenant. Yes, and we're we're both in agreement. Yes, about it. we're both in agreement about it, and we're we're not out to get each other. Yeah. We're not we're not out to hurt each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I see a lot of people use money as a tool of punishment oh, wow. yeah. you know or the man is is reckless yeah to be funny enough i there was a season of our lives where hmm. there was <laughs> where i was wonderful where Vasquez was financially reckless with money very, very. but he didn't leave me unprotected yes that's the truth because he also gave me the license to oh you know what still always have so we would always have money that we took like we have this amount of money that he says, okay, we're traveling. This is for shopping. Take this. I'll take this. And I had freedom to do whatever I wanted to do with my money. Yes, which so you that, save. Yes, which is... Which <laughs> <laughs> you save. You're not going to spend it. <laughs> so you come and make it later. Yeah. But, you know, it just... It made me feel safe that I could have mine. Because I know that a lot of women mm -hmm. have those issues where, yeah. you know, we put our money together. The man and takes the, man the money and just disappears. And he's Bitcoin. reckless. And he's also not thinking it's about like her. Crypto. Even though Pastor K had those moments, <laughs> he always found a way to protect me. He always found a way to say, oh, you need money, right? Yeah. You take some money. Don't, yeah. don't let me... And, and I have the habit of, oh, no, honey, if you need, it's okay, it's okay. And he's like, yeah. no, you too yeah. need. Take two. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do with it. And that's where the, oh, you have a savings... I have a savings account yeah. apart from the yeah, family so savings. So it's like, yeah. that's what you like to do with money anyway. So when you take your money, save savings it, do whatever you want to do with it. So... That still made me feel and, safe. Um, and in the case where you're married to somebody that's totally unreasonable and mm. irresponsible, yeah. uh, you might have to, you know, uh, look Not for a way to Not have protect. a joint account. Yes. Maybe joint accountability. Ability, yeah. Or um, both of you must sign 
yeah. or you know for, for, for us for because us some couples yeah. um this joint account thing can't work can't because work, yeah they are both right, they, they are not working together as a team or one party is really really reckless, reckless. and unrepentant and in, inconsiderate inconsiderate yeah yeah, so you all know, of that, bad, that's, yeah. that's a, so in that's a lot, yes. People better keep some money because rent will be due. This guy will tell his story. Your yeah. children's school fees mm -hmm. will be due. So mm -hmm. take care of yourself and your kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for us, that, that just even the joint accountability really helps because I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person who likes to save money. Yeah. Pastor K likes to spend. So what we do, <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is that um, he doesn't have any cards with him. Yeah. Um, for except, our safety. yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> except when we it's travel. Now, now this I've, yeah, I've changed. Yeah, yeah, it's now that I've he's repented more, of yeah, my sins. Yeah. Before, I didn't, I didn't have any of our cards, bank cards. Checkbooks. I didn't even receive a lot on my phone. Even yeah, till today, I don't receive yeah. any alerts on my phone. So, anytime you send me money, please tell me a message that you sent me money, or else I, I won't know. But God sees you. But God I bless know. you anyway. Yeah, she, you know, she's on that one. So, that people, there, there, there was a time I had to uh, spark for my accounting yeah, team yeah. because somebody sent me a large amount of money and, and they didn't tell me for months. And, and, and like I was seeing this person every day, day. I never thanked the person. Yeah. So, one day they were given an account and I saw a large figure. I was like, Where did you get this money from? They said, Oh, somebody paid. I said, like, And you guys didn't tell me. They said, No, just find out something. I said, Were you expecting payment of something? No, but we just <laughs> believe that the Lord yeah, will favor no. you, sir. So, no, when we saw I've, the money. I've had those issues a few times. <laughs> fact, I've gone to preach somewhere and they sent me a very large yeah. seed. In pounds. Oh, but know. I didn't see that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that one wasn't that one. Yeah, in pounds. A lot of money. And, and they and didn't tell me. And, and, and you know, I was talking to the people later. And they was like, ah, they sent money. Uh, I didn't know. So, hey, when you're rich, you're rich. When you're big, you're big. Oh, God. You know? I'm not that rich. Please send me money. I'm still need money. <laughs> 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 I'm getting there. I'm not yet there. Number yeah. six. Mm -hmm. You look out for me and I look out for you. Yeah. So, yeah. in this family, you're not allowed to make those... Selfish, selfish decisions. Yeah. I want to buy a car. It's not up to you. Yeah. You say I need a car. I'm the one who decides whether you get a car yeah. or not. I want to change my hair. You decide. So yeah. we we had to do it that way so that there's no selfishness in our marriage. Yeah. One of the ways we're able to control. Yeah, reduce your selfishness. Yes, reduce very selfishness. Very Yes, we well, bear Sometimes minimum. she's still very selfish. Okay, like when? Sometimes. No, we need examples. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, I mean, I mean, with the selfish. But <laughs> oh like, god. Hey. But it's really, uh, it's really helped though. Yeah, definitely. It has really helped. I, again, again, it's it also gives you. Sorry, I, I was gonna yeah. say it also gives you an opportunity to support your partner. Oh yeah. Because a lot of times when Pascal has some, I want this, I want this. He has said a million times, and I just give it my mind, you know. And he, then he now starts getting cold feet about it. Maybe I buy this one, buy as remorse. That's what it's yeah. called. I now feel like mm, should I buy. And I'll not go behind his back and go and, and buy it. Right. Like, yeah. oh, well, I, I did the same thing too. Oh, yeah, you did a lot. I remember one, one of our saying. first gifts. I'm just just into one okay. of our first gifts. One of the first gifts I bought for you. Which one? I think the, that's the, the gift shoes. I gave you. There was a shoe. The shoe, the wristwatch. But there was also the wristwatch. Or the Bible. Yeah. Those things. Yeah, things. yeah. So there are things like that. If she mentions that she yeah. likes them, or we'll go to a store and she sees them and the price is too high and she can't buy it, I'll just go back later, and go and make a deposit. Because we can't, we usually yeah, couldn't afford we'll it at that time. Then. So I'll make a deposit and say, keep this thing out. I'll come back and I'll pay small, small. Sometimes it took me like a year to pay small, small. No, I don't have to year, but. <laughs> we should go <laughs> back to that store, though. There's one particular store. There's one particular store, Pascal used to do all so those deposits. So we'll go there. They used to have deposit, designer stuff at cheap price, yes. So we'll just go there. So, they still um, open, though. Yeah, we'll go there and do a video. <laughs> I passed there yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. so um, the rule was that I, I look out for her. And she looks out for me, and mm. that has helped us. That helps to you focus on. And again, it's like I was saying, it's tied to covenant. Yeah. Um, the covenant of marriage also doesn't allow you to look out for yourself. yourself. It's simply you know, we're in the covenant with God, mm -hmm. and the principle in scripture is Matthew six thirty three. It says, "Seek ye first, mm -hmm. you know, God, then it will be added." So God takes care of your need. You, you focus on the things of God. Mm -hmm. He takes care of your own things. So yeah, that's same way. First Corinthians seven also says the same thing: He that is married does not seek to please himself, but to please his, his partner. Spouse. You know, and things like that. So. It has so really helped focus us. Focus on me now. Yeah, yeah. Focus on me. I yeah, bless yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm focusing. <laughs> and by the way, she bought me this watch. Yeah, I went to a store that. in Turkey. When we went for uh, the vacation and all that, um, the NHN and the warrior people, warrior, what they call it? Warrior queens. Warrior queens and war room. Yeah, uh -huh, war room was honestly. You know, they, they took us on small on the kind of vacation in Turkey. And so we went to this watch store. I love this watch. I saw it. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys can close the camera. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very nice watch. I love it. You know, so um, I saw it at a price. I was saying, see what it says. I was indifferent. I wasn't sure. So I eventually I left it. And I was negotiating a price. The guy is being ugly. So I left it. But Pastor Mita went behind me when I went to the bathroom and paid for it and bought it. So we do those kind of things from time to time. So, yeah. yeah. And I like 
how happy those things make you. you yeah. Know? So you, you, I score major points when I do those yes. things, and he does. Too. So when I say something, in fact, I think he does it more for me because before I buy it for myself. Oh, hmm. save a major. Save a baba. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so good at buying for everybody Mama else. Even people that don't need, like everyone around me. When I once I travel, I start to think, oh, this person, and this person oh, for shops and for people. I'm buying things for, for kids, everybody, for and then I get back and I don't have yeah, anything to wear. I will remember, yeah. or they will tell me, oh, these shoes are this amount. I'm like, oh, what's that? Yeah. Uh, that will buy shirts for Chiso, yeah, buy shirts yeah. for Dodgy, yeah. buy shoe for Gideon, buy perfume. I would have calculated that one class. I said, what's that? Yeah. This I'm not buying. <laughs> this kid's like, buy. You have been working yeah. all year long. You have been doing this. So he gets a chance to surprise me a lot. Yeah. And I feel comfortable. I mean, I really like the fact that I don't have to look out for myself. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that I don't have to be selfish. Yeah. You know, I can just rest in the fact that somebody just have to say it a couple of times. And somehow it just shows up. At some point, yeah. yeah. So that really, <laughs> that's really been a blessing. All right. And so number seven, the okay. final one. Mm -hmm. Can you guess? No. <laughs> <laughs> the final one and the most important one. Mm. Divorce is not an, an option. option. Yeah. We said that so much yeah, to each other so before we, we got married. Yeah. Was one of the first things we agreed that we will not get divorced. Mm. And there's some there's a way past the key, you know, because when we say those things, sometimes people think, mm, how can you say that you will not have a divorce? How can you say that? You know, Pastor K gave me an analogy many years ago that we use with our clients today. Um, and that is that when you're in a room, there are no windows, there are no doors. And both of you are in that room and a fire starts in the room. What would your first response be? Your first response would be to try to put out the fire. Yeah, yeah. But if there are windows and there are doors, first thing you try to do is run. Yeah, yeah. So he said to me, we have to close every window, every door in this marriage. No way out. Okay? In this marriage, divorce is not an option. Whatever happens, we stay here and we fight till death mm -hmm. was part. Mm -hmm. And we agreed. And there have been times you wanted to carry your bag and go. Oh, yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't look for my trouble now. <laughs> you look for a good girl. You're a nice girl. People always ask for the secret of marriage. This is the secret of our marriage. Okay. Right here. That's okay. I hear. Well, everybody knows I have bad character, so you cannot say that. Uh, you don't do it at home. <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> it's outside. You do it. So, oh my god! Um, okay. So that helped us. We don't. So we don't. We don't yes. consider that. Divorce, it's not even you know? an option. Like an option. there's no way out. So we'll just stay and fix it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. I think that helps yeah. because sometimes when you give that option, you know, and you start, some people constantly threaten their spouses mm -hmm. with it. I will divorce you. I will leave you, and and for you know, it becomes. Mm. You know, they are calling it into existence, yeah, existence. and one day it will, it will manifest. Mm. Yeah. So for us, divorce is not an option. We yeah. understand covenant. We understand that we're in this for life. Yeah. And the only way out is death. Mm -hmm. We understand that since we're in it, we might as well make it worth it. Yeah. So that kind of guides how, how we, we enjoy being with each other. We enjoy each other. Yeah. We enjoy um, hanging out. Basque is my best friend, so we yeah. talk all the time. Yeah. Uh, we just about everything. We mm -hmm. gossip, everything, yeah. everything bad. Uh, I do it uh, with this uh, man. Uh, uh. And every bad thing I know, it's the one that taught me. Wow, this man. that's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> but because we know that we're not going anywhere, we decided yeah. to make it worth it. Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. we do a lot of hanging out, spending time together, and you know, talking. We're always talking. Mm -hmm. Always, always talking. So there you have it, guys. Our yeah, seven things. top agreements, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there are more, but I just yeah, can't remember all seven. them. No, 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 but seven is okay. Yeah, you guys go and work with that one first. Yeah. Then you and, come back uh, later. And in the comment section, if you have ideas of things couples yes. should agree about, yeah. um, you know, hey, right, we'd like to know. Mm. We'd like to know. So, hey, all right. So, um, see you next year? Yes. See next you. year? 2023. Yeah. And we pray 2023 will be much better it than will. 2022. It will. It will. In what? Jesus' name. Amen. It will. So, please, um, Make special memories this Christmas. Watch Christmas movies. That's our favorite thing. Uh, God, Netflix has been bombarding my phone. Yeah. <laughs> this movie is out. This movie is out. I'm going to download. Oh, so. God. I'm going to download so many. Movies, the same script they all share and use. Yeah. Same script. One Somebody person actually is lost did, yeah. with one woman in the shop and they yeah. fall in love. Yeah, it's possible. Did I send you that video script. clip? Yeah. All the skits about Christmas movies. All Christmas movies on earth. This is the storyline. Story Somebody's working hard, hates Christmas. 
throw something at a Santa Claus that we don't know is Santa Claus until the end of the movie, the very, and then they send the person to a small town, go yeah, there, write the a, a bad article town, about the yes. town, then guess they falls in love with the town, but has already written a bad article, then the guy she fell in love with, the oh God, the yes, in the bookstore, it yeah. has to be a bookstore, yes, yes. and then at the end of it all, they now fall back yeah, in love, yeah. and then Father Christmas now shows up, and she's like, oh, that's you, that's Santa, yes. and I'm like, same story, oh. Yes. We like it. And it must it. be snowing. Oh, of course now. But and in now, Nigeria, it doesn't snow. But again, now, Christmas oh, mm -hmm. now, eh, the, the way to make Christmas movies more interesting, eh, you have to have junk. Wow. Yeah, you have to have junk like on your bed, okay. cookies, cakes, um, stuff like a hot chocolate. Wow. You have it. Just have wow. it on your bed and then just be watching and be stuffing yourself. Be okay with being fat. Sweaters, wow. big tops, wow. nothing. What you want is this? Yeah. The way you come in January. You start, you join gym, Res renew your you have, gym subscription. You have a... <laughs> gym people make money in January. Even though they year resolution. Don't, don't, they never come and register, they won't come. <laughs> first week. By no, first they won't week come they first week. Oh. Gym people make money. They won't come first week. Everybody <laughs> has bought nice, cute gym outfits. Yes. Kids, people that say kids will make a lot of money. Uh, so okay. thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you. See for you those guys. that just had my three million dollar ice cream, hit me up. <laughs> See you guys in 2023. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And follow us on all our platforms. platforms. We love you. Merry Christmas and a happy, happy new, new year. year. Bye, guys. Hey, North America, we're all packed and loaded and we're heading your way. If you are in the United States of America or in Canada, we are coming to you in the year 2023. So, but hey, we need volunteers. We need people that will make this happen. We're having our tour and we need help. So hey, if you live in America or you live in Canada, go to the link in my bio or Pastor Mildred's bio and register to join the volunteer team and let's make this happen. All right, love that marriage. You want to cover as many cities and as many provinces as possible. So it doesn't matter where you stay. As long as you are inside the United States of America or you are in Canada, please register to join the volunteer team. And let's make it happen. Let's make history. All right, see you.